Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Dollar turned yesterday, bullish engulfing in Euro. Bearish bar, dollar Swiss. Very bearish bar. Continuation bar in dollar yen. Bearish bar, dollar CAD. Bullish bar, Aussie. Bullish engulfing Kiwi. Heading into the Italian elections this weekend. Uh, so there is some Euro risk. And we also have the vote on the German coalition. So you're going to have to keep it light. You really can't carry positions into the weekend. Uh, but it looks like today we're going to see uh, just technically based Euro buying. So you can collect Euros anywhere here between 68 and 48. Your stop's below 30, which was the bull, bull bear yesterday. And, you know, just try and look for look for prices up to this sort of 123.47 trend line that held all week. So that's our play. Equities, another big offer day. We had the sanctions on aluminum and steel from uh, Donnie Trump. This isn't going to help. This is a sell-on rally still. You don't want to chase it down here, so you just want to be tactical about this. Maybe try and sell in the 2710 region on the E-minis. Cryptos are bullish. No trade here. Uh, 11,800 is an important technical point. But we're far from that right now. Ethereum, just mildly bullish, holding in there. So, let's see. Oh, yeah, dollars are. This has been a nice little turn from the lows. We lost a little bit of energy at 95, but what we're doing is we're still looking for more bad news. And you want to trade this from the long side. This doesn't really dovetail with the long euro dollar today, so you could actually maybe even look at Eurozar, which is a consensus long this year. Um, it hasn't worked out so well, but this is a global macro consensus long, and this might be the way to trade Zar today. Uh, 1460 looks important, but for us, we're waiting. You're, we're waiting in Eurozar just for 1518. This was uh, something we talked about at the beginning of the year, and we're just waiting for 1518 for confirmation that this is going to go higher. What else is there? Bonds are uh, 282. So now we've seen this turn. We couldn't quite get through three. Uh, this could also add to negative pressure on the dollar. So you want to keep an eye on this. If we do get below uh, 280 and close below 280, this will put some negative pressure on the dollar. All right, we're going to keep it pretty light today going into this uh, risk, euro risk over the weekend. But we'll be trying to get long euros today and try and scratch a few pennies together. Good luck out there. Talk to you at the New York Open. Ciao.